and welcome to another episode of I Have Notes. Uh, I am one of your hosts, Carrie Shawcross. Uh, with me, we have the always wonderful co-host, Isa Badiola. Hello. Hi, I'm Isa. Caught me mid-scratch. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't just that the way life is? Yes. <laughs> and with us today is the ever-wonderful Aaron Wynn and Yay. new guest. New guest, Joshua Ornelas. Woo! Yay! New Turn friend. New what friend. What it do? New friend. What it do? New, new friend. friend. New friend who yeah. immediately wins uh, best background we've ever had on the show. Yeah. <laughs> um, There's that uh, work from home meme about how it's like everyone <laughs> <laughs> everyone who works from home and then the word poster with a streamer set up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We found him. We found streamer. Him. Oh, no. I mean, it looks really cool. It does. Uh, <laughs> I think the best way to start out is our typical. Hey, how's everybody doing? How's uh, how's, how's your week? week? How's your weekend? Aaron, Aaron, how about you? You uh, you weren't on last week. I know I'm back, baby. You're back. Uh, doing pretty well. I'm in my new apartment at last. It's Yay! still working, still work nice. in progress. So ignore, oh, ignore it, all that. <laughs> what, what is what is that going to be, or what is that? That's like just like my little office. Nook. area nook yeah corner uh Ooh. technically i'm in my like dining area but i turned it into my office because uh, i live by myself so uh no point in having like a table and chairs <laughs> so i would also argue dining rooms kind of don't need to exist anymore yeah they're it just dining rooms to me is just like more shelf space like yeah. a dining <laughs> table is a giant shelf there's no point it's a waste so yeah, yeah but you got along. you got the cat tree Hell yeah. You got is that, is that Pooper? It is Pooper. Yeah. Pooper. Pooper. Josh, you'll never He's guess cat. why Pooper's known He's as chilling. Pooper. Uh, it's actually because he pees a lot. Yep, that's it. <laughs> um, God, I wish. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. she poops a lot. <laughs> <laughs> I like it. We're, we're going to continue this. Um, What's uh, this? I have notes lore about <laughs> where everyone is. <laughs> exactly. How about Josh, you guys? How uh, how have you been doing? What have you been up to? I've been chilling, man. Just been working, busy. Uh, I don't know what I did this weekend. I think I've been rewatching Naruto or watching Naruto because <gasps> I read it a long time ago from like start to finish, but okay. I never watched any of it animated. So now mm. I'm going through all of those feels, but in like smooth 24 FPS as opposed <laughs> to like page by page. And uh, it's a lot of tears. It's a lot of like, yeah, it's a lot of this and that. That's what I've been doing. That's cute. Yeah, if Josh. you were re-watching yeah. it, I'd be very impressed. <laughs> <laughs> be like, holy crap, that's a lot of, a lot of Naruto. Well, a lot, yeah, you say you've seen it all, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I read it. <laughs> I oh, feel boy. like uh, there's so many people who know my opinions of the Nart, but uh, onions. Onions. You just call it the yeah. Nart. The yeah, no, that's like the uh, what's it, the internet name for it? Nart or Boruto's Sorry. dad? Oh, yeah, that's the only one I know. I don't know. I only saw like the first like maybe twenty episodes, so I don't know as much about it. Yeah, I just know him as Boruto's dad. Uh, <laughs> in that, I've never. I don't actually know how you're supposed to say it because I've heard Naruto and the Rudo and Boruto's dad. Uh, and Boruto's dad. Boruto. Bur <laughs> I think it's Naruto, right? Right, Josh? They usually Naruto. pronounce it that way. Naruto. Yeah, I think it's Naruto that they all say Naruto in the show. Yeah. Oh, okay. are you watching it subbed or dubbed? Ooh. I am watching it subbed because <gasps> for some reason my, my brain doesn't latch on to, to su or yeah, subs as much. I don't know what it is. I like reading for some reason. Oh, huh. that's fair. Interesting. Or no, my brain doesn't latch on to dubs. I got that wrong, but you know what I mean. Yeah, 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 yeah I like yeah, reading yeah, yeah. for some reason. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, I'm, interesting. I've officially reached, I've reached either... I don't know if it's the age or just like being a loser. I don't know what it is, but like, <laughs> I think it's age. I've reached the point where I watch subtitles on everything, no matter what language, it doesn't oh, matter. Yeah. I just have them on because it's like, what if they whisper? I want to <laughs> hear it. I absorb it more. <laughs> it's I true. Which just makes it easier than to watch sub stuff yeah. too, because now I'm just like reading anyways. Have you guys ever figured out like, uh, what is your best learning style? Because there's... um. Oof. There's like that style or there's like that study about like what is the best way for people to learn. It's like four or five different methods. And I forget, of course, most of them. But I know one of them's like through reading, uh, through writing, through visuals, um, 
I think it was um oh dang hang on i'm pulling up right now it was (gasps) um uh words of affirmation acts of service (laughs) um i i i don't remember yeah i don't remember what they were i i know that i'm definitely a like um i do better when like i put it into use Mm -hmm. oh if that makes sense like i I, my brain used to be a lot better before RVB season yeah. 10. My memory used to be, but uh, I like, I can remember really specific things, but it doesn't like sink in for me unless I just like do it a lot. Do like it, I've been yeah. taking uh, mm. like Japanese classes a lot and like they, you know, like when my, when my instructor like just goes over it, it's kind of like, eh, whatever. But then like when we start actually practice like forming sentences or, you know, applying the knowledge that's when it sinks in for me more than just reading it or just like memorizing it okay yeah that makes sense that's fair i think i'm the same yeah Yeah. i'm very like story based in my head where it's like i'll have a i don't remember the thing but i remember the The moment that i learned the the thing Mm -hmm. and then i go like oh it was that which is like a really weird roundabout way to do it and it's dumb interesting what about you Uh, hmm. I think mm-hmm. learning learning by example is I think is the easiest to understand. But I for me I think it's visuals. Um I need, oh, yeah. if I really need to understand a concept, uh I can't just read it. I have to see it. Um mm-hmm. uh so like, you know, graphs help a lot. Um uh, a lot of different comparisons. Uh like I it's like watching tutorials. I oh man. Uh kind of related there is a discussion i had with a former um post artist on ruby amanda gotera she was talking Mm -hmm. about tamora pierce books and tamora pierce is a fantasy author who often writes for children's fantasy and i mentioned how i was like i for some reason i couldn't really understand her words and her worlds that she was trying to describe with words but um I, I mentioned like I felt like my brain was really hankering for imagery like comics which is why I think I picked up manga more than I picked up mm-hmm. reading a book mm-hmm. um so she mentioned like oh yeah would that actually makes a lot of sense because like a Tamara Pierce graphic novel would be really cool but I, I think about that a lot about like oh what what is how do people pick things up the easiest so yeah I feel like Josh... mine vary sometimes too yeah yeah, yeah. Josh mm-hmm. what about you Uh, I think I do learning as like a per need basis. For example, like if I need to do something in After Effects and I don't know it, I will go out and learn it and that knowledge will stick. But if I'm ever just like on YouTube and I see recommended for like how to do crazy effect number four, I none of that will stick. I don't know. It just really depends on what I need at that current moment. Because like like, uh, it has to mean something to you. Yeah. Yeah, and I think like the the utility of being able to like apply it to literally whatever project that you're on at that current moment makes it latch onto your brain way more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's uh it's like your what what does your brain do whenever like you're driving on the highway and it just like completely dumps all of that memory? That's kind of sort of like what I have whenever I'm just like watching videos. Like I'll forget whatever I just watched, but if I'm actively like, mm. oh no, I need to swerve out of the metaphorical conundrum that is the project that i'm currently on let me or, or a literal deer <laughs> <laughs> or, or a literal deer your brain latches on to like whatever it needs to do at that current moment and you remember it and it's like that's it yeah hmm. oh god nice mm-hmm. so let's see so it's experience based it's 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 doing it yourself it's it. it's uh multiple things it's like you know like like you so you're saying it's like reading and visualizing like like seeing seeing it like comparisons are great i feel like too yeah. a lot mm-hmm. um learning about learning <laughs> it's Excellent. fascinating like it's it is especially like languages because i know carrie you say you're learning japanese and i'm like oh man i wish that could be me but i know i, th- I feel it like could i'm be. Pat- <laughs> past that point of where i'm like too old and no. none of this is gonna stick. I'm older language than you. Language is really hard. Like, I already have a hard time with English, my first and only language, basically. <laughs> so I don't know, man. I don't think there's much help for me when it comes to learning another language. Aaron, I'm <laughs> older than you. Don't say that because it means I can't. Look, I just I keep my flashcards at my oh. desk, and I have 
Here's what here's what you get. You ready? Yes. Children's books. <gasps> oh yeah! Wow. Aw. That is actually adorable. Oh, that's I cute. love it. <laughs> nice. That's what you Aww. do. I'm learning just like a toddler. Hey, you know what? Yeah. Valid. That but, I mean, like, sounds like I, a good starting point. <laughs> it, it was interesting, but like I, because uh, I, I was doing like one lesson a week. And I didn't have a lot of time to to like practice in between. Like I would do like little bits, but then I started doing two a week. And then I specifically started doing two like really close back to back. Like I usually do classes on like Tuesdays and Thursdays. Mm -hmm. And like Tuesday is usually kind of like, you know, eh, I'm forgetting a lot of stuff. And then Thursday, like it's like all of a sudden I know it. I don't. I'm still so far away. <laughs> like all of a sudden it's like, oh, I'm actually like applying things. It's like that repetition. We're saying things oh, that are all yeah. very obvious, but like. I feel like we've all like also started to learn them and like experience mm -hmm. them and not just be told like, oh, this is how you learn anymore. Like, I, I feel like I'm like starting to yeah. see the patterns myself and that's mm -hmm. like been cool. Yeah, um, I think I think yeah. that's really neat. I um, uh, something I had <laughs> put in this topic sheet uh, somewhat related is what is a hobby you have to call the darkness? Lol. And um, <laughs> <laughs> I feel for me, I think learning and like feeling like you're smart <laughs> is, yeah. is something related to that you know it's like oh i i i'm learning a new skill or this is a hobby or just even like i i think gaming is now kind of uh what's the word it it is an appropriate hobby to have now because it's just something that is kind of like take it's it distracts you it takes you well, away from something and you're learning at the same time we need that uh, that escapism more so than ever yeah definitely because we need it but it, it, like yeah then that gets back in the whole like at the same time it's like i keep fighting myself like wanting to escape and then also like realizing like no i need to be focused on a lot of these <laughs> things now because they're you, important <laughs> now <laughs> you have to stand up to your enemies <laughs> yeah. hey so i'm assuming my standing up pose so, oh hell yeah power <laughs> your power pose yeah. <laughs> josh i i, Every... I know carrie oh <laughs> I know Carrie, Aaron, and I previously have talked about like how we've been dealing with um, uh, quarantine life now. But since this is kind of first time we've been talking to you about it, how has working from home been for you? I'm pretty curious. Uh, work from home has been okay. Uh, it's been a little bit of a learning experience because I'm currently doing uh, something new in the production cycle that I haven't been previously doing. Um, I don't know how much I'm able to talk about like just stuff, but like, uh, yeah, it's a whole new sort of like subset of skills that like I have to either brush off or learn, you know, uh, you know, going back to the learning thing. It's like, cool. I got to just like reopen my brain and just like actually like put all these things together and actually uh. Uh, do some <laughs> stuff. But other than that, like it's been pretty chill as far as work from home. I mean, it's maddening because I'm in here for like 22 and a half hours a day or something like that I'll, I'll go like walk outside or ride a bike or something like that but still it's like uh you know yeah just staying inside the entire time yeah uh. yeah i mean at least it's, it looks like a cool room to be in <laughs> it's, it's pretty true. chill uh, like i'm sitting in this okay. chair so so long every day i just uh, i just bought hey i'll ju this just in probably during this recording i'm getting my chair cushion that i ordered from amazon <gasps> Oh. And my butt Carol. is very excited. Carol, we have the same chair. I'm pretty sure. I need you to send me a link to that cushion. <laughs> oh, you know it. Well, let me. I'll test it out first. Don't worry. Oh, okay, okay. Just it's let me it's know. a good chair, but it's like mesh, and if I put my foot up, it kind of hurts sometimes. <laughs> oh, okay. At this point, like, I just need anything. I have just anything to make life just incrementally better. Uh, see, that's fair because like I don't I don't put my feet up or anything like that. I'm I sit like a robot. I'm just like optimal pose at all times like well, that's gamer, good gamer stance like <laughs> that's me <laughs> i hey i'm scooting back a lot of times i sit like this which I never is terrible do it. for you <laughs> oh fuck. Or i'll do this oh no, <laughs> no. i'm like, guilty of all of these things like me too. four day four hours a day oh, no. i i just <laughs> readjusted my self-consciously <laughs> Yeah. I hope the audience does too. They're like, oh god. Okay. It has yes. gotten to the point where, like, my because it's like it's it's a mesh chair on my ankle on my left side. It's just like getting all like dry. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah, because it's like it's just like crusty ankles. I do. <laughs> I've been applying lotion like nobody. Sorry, business. sir. There's no cure for your crusty I'm ankles. Just, I'm gonna I'm gonna hand cream real quick just to yeah. <laughs> just I'm serious. To moisturize. Cream. Dude, we we stay moist here. Yeah. <laughs> Josh, if there's one thing I know about you, it's that you're 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 fucking moist, man. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. <laughs> A couple of moist boys. I'm hey, since we're talking right now, oh, since gosh. we're talking about gross stuff, uh, uh, I, I can't hear out of my right ear right now. Um, what happened? Okay. Oh no. This is only a little gross. It's not that gross. <laughs> You know how they always say, like, you shouldn't put a Q-tip too far in your ear? Uh-oh. Oh, Carrie, oh, no. You sh You really shouldn't, y'all. Oh, no. Carrie, oh, no. Okay, I just, I hadn't cleaned my ears in a little bit. And it had been just like a minute. And I thought, okay, I'm going to clean my ear. And I cleaned it, got the right one. And I was like, all right, cool, got some stuff out. Left one went, went just a little bit deeper. Oh, no. And I got a good bit out from the left one and i was like this is awesome i feel great <laughs> i feel like a new person i, I could go deeper in the right let me no, let me go in for no, seconds no. and i went in for seconds <laughs> and all of a sudden <laughs> everything just seconds. went like dull oh, no. and i just couldn't and i was just like alone in my bathroom just like hello <laughs> <laughs> okay. hello <laughs> And like over the course of like the last like four hours, it's like slowly returning. But like straight up when it first happened, I put my finger in my left ear and I snapped and I just couldn't hear it. Oh, oh my God. God. So uh, speaking of Amazon, also open ordered a ear flushing thing. So oh, I'll update y'all on that. It'll be gross. Oh, uh, oh can no. you take pictures? <laughs> oh, oh yeah, of course. Pictures. Don't worry, I'll send it to y'all. Don't worry, Aaron. Don't okay, worry, I'll do it. Okay, yeah, I can. I want that. some uh, yeah. ear flushing I'm, ASMR. I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna <laughs> put out some glossy four by fives and, and mail it to y'all. There's um, there's a whole subsection of like YouTube videos that are about pimple popping and oh, yeah. like taking out earwax out of your ears. Oh yeah. And, oh man, I am guilty. <laughs> It's gross, but I can't look away. Oh, yeah, it's so satisfying. <laughs> Josh just went like very quiet. <laughs> He's like, I I'm, tr here? I'm, I'm trying not to out myself as well. Thank you, Terry. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I know. laughs> We're all just human. One of us. <laughs> it, like, there's been a couple times where I'm like, th this is the saddest thought ever. But like, I'll get like kind of like a like a pimple or something on my arm. Oh. I'll be like, ooh, is it an ingrown hair? Is it gonna like? <laughs> Is it gonna like have like a ton of plus in it? And I'm like, no, oh, no, it's just a little pimple, no big deal. The pimples are a little <laughs> bit too much for me. Ear waxing, ear cleaning, that's okay. Pimple popping. See, I'm yeah. so. I think I'm the Ugh. other way around. I don't know. Ugh. Ugh. Huh. I don't know. Maybe I just have one too many bad pimple experiences. So I think I'm just turned off by pimples. Have, have y'all seen the fucking, this is like the grossest. We'll stop talking in a second. Have y'all seen like the ones where it's like the blackhead extractor where it's like the camera's I love like those. there. It's so weird. It's like you're those. getting like a, a POV like blackhead extraction thing. It's like the grossest fucking thing. And I've seen so many of them. <laughs> Wait, is it like a camera in the like the extractor yeah. itself? Yeah. That's oh. So weird. I'm searching this up like later. Yeah. <laughs> Do it right now. Yeah, I'm doing okay. it right Everybody now. Just go ahead and pause and go. Fucking... <laughs> Blackhead extraction. Yeah, it's, uh... it's really weird. Anyways, all right. Gross talk <laughs> over. We revealed ourselves. We have such everyone. a wide range of topics this week. We have learning, <laughs> ear cleaning, pimple yeah. popping. <laughs> <laughs> those all sound pretty related honestly yeah yeah honestly. I said, it turns out maybe creative people are just gross and you know what that's okay Man, i just, just gotta... i i refuse to eat boogers mm. except that one time i've already talked about on a different podcast and that's <laughs> Don't, please okay. do not re repeat it I, 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 there's there's an rta about it i think it's they can go oh. they can go find oh, it. oh good now i know where to avoid it yeah, exactly. <laughs> Never search RTA yeah. ever again. <laughs> Sorry, so Does, uh, I can't support it anymore. <laughs> try I'm gonna I'm gonna try and move us away yeah, from, do it. Uh, from gross stuff. I just uh, do and it. I promise I promise this is not a plug and I've not been asked to do this, but 
I've been since there's like a new source of like licenses. Uh, I've been I've been on HBO Max a lot, just because it's like it's had things that you know I haven't been able to see on like streaming stuff in a while. And uh, I just watched uh, Yo Jimbo for the first time. Oh, the Kurosawa film. Oh, okay. yeah. that's a good movie. Ooh, oh, y'all haven't seen it? Cool. That's a good movie, y'all. Uh, I want to watch. Uh, I've actually never seen. I've never seen that. I never seen uh, Seven Samurai, which oh. is like a travesty. Um, mm. But I keep putting it off because I I want it's like three and a half hours long. Oh my god! Which is like a commitment. <laughs> oh, wow. um, that's a that's a whole Lord of the Rings, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> but I've been trying to like I've been I've gone on, like years now with kind of this like weird aversion to movies just because mm. they are such like a commitment and yeah. I'm trying to to break that by like telling myself like it's okay to watch it over two nights or like you know mm. hey it's okay you know to, to watch this until like the second you go to bed I'm such like a fucking old person now <laughs> um, I mean to be fair I feel like that's me right now I'm just very not into movies as of late like i think the last movie i yeah. saw in theaters was promare and i saw it like four times um yeah. besides so you're, that you're really into one movie exactly <laughs> yeah. yeah that's my problem i don't want to watch anything else so oh, especially man. live i feel like there's a lot of live action movies and i'm like mm, yeah i don't know I'm kind of yeah. not vibing with the live action movies lately yeah well, I think I think that's why it was kind of nice to watch this because it was very much not current live action yeah. like modern movie, um, and there's a lot of things in it that's like obviously now you know could have been better, but the as a whole package it was like it was something that I hadn't experienced in a in a movie in a while was just like I was just very interested in where the story was going, mm-hmm. um, in, in a I guess I don't know like in a different way than I normally feel. I even like watching modern movies a lot lately. I'm usually like, this is cool. And then I like halfway through, I start thinking about like, well, what am I going to do after this movie? You know, like I kind of like <laughs> oh, I no. get distracted a little bit. And this the whole yeah. time I'm just like, yeah, Samurai, what are you going to do? <laughs> oh, ooh, you got everyone riled up. That was funny. Oh, uh, like, I don't know. I, uh, I think that's so cool that like there's because uh, I'm definitely not a person who is um I'm more new gen than old gen, if I were to describe yeah. it in a phrase. And in general, I am too. Yeah, it with it, even with movies, it's it's a little like, oh well, I'm not really interested in watching an old movie. But when I actually discovered via my friends some older black and white movies that I was not even black and white, but just older movies in general from like the seventies and the eighties that like I actually mm-hmm. sat down and watched, and I was like, oh, that was genuinely thrilling. Like that uh, kind of that feeling is is so rare nowadays Mm -hmm. especially because a lot of movies nowadays always reference the older stuff um so when you see an older movie that i feel like not a lot of people have actually referenced or they want to replicate but they can't or it's just there's something about that charm of the original it's like oh wow that's really that's really fascinating yeah i no i completely agree i i think in a weird way a thing that helped with this was because it was like a foreign movie it was a different Mm-hmm. like storytelling style from like a typical Hollywood movie that mm-hmm. like it made it a little bit easier to like, cause I feel like I, I, a lot of times when I watch, uh, I'm this is like me sounding like peak millennial right now, but like <laughs> when, when I watch an older movie, I, I, a lot of times I'll find myself thinking like, Oh, well we could have done that shot better. Like not like me or the company, but like as an industry, it's like, Oh, we could have done that shot better now or you know that set could have looked better or whatever like i i kind of i feel like i pick it apart more just because i've you know see what we can do as as an as a industry yeah. but i guess there's something about like just the storytelling style being different uh because it wasn't it wasn't a movie like it had acts to it but it, it was a lot i don't know how to describe it i'm i, I want to think about it a little bit more but it, it was uh it just had a different pace than most movies do um, oh that's so. really cool uh like i said not not a required or asked of me plug but it was just it it's on hbo max so i was like okay i'll check it out why not Ooh, on the too. topic of like wanting to redo like other uh pieces of media that's like me with a lot of 3d anime um, yeah <laughs> especially like recently my one of my favorite animes has been king and ashura which is like mm-hmm. a mma 
anime. It's on Netflix. Well, and, like, the manga and the story, everything about it is great. It's just, like, the technical aspects and visuals are, like, not as good as I would have liked. And I'm like, oh, man. If, like, if we had our hands on it, like, I just want to, like, fix lots of little parts of it. Yeah. I, I, I wish, recommend it. I wish we could get, like, a, a like, a... A con- well, I guess not right now, but like a convention together of like all of like the people who make like 3D anime mm-hmm. and just like all <laughs> share secrets yeah, together. Definitely. I don't know who did the, who which studio did Kengen. Um, it's definitely like not Polygon, which I think is a little bit higher up in terms of quality. So I'm going to have mm-hmm. to like do some research because I did, I feel like they have some similar approaches to us, but I'm pretty sure they don't use like pencil or stuff like that when it comes to rendering. It's very interesting. Gotcha. I feel like there are certain studios that have like that secret sauce when it comes to like the 3D. Uh, oh. It's kind of like uh, animated that's kind of sort of simulated in the 2D style or something like that. Mm-hmm. Um, especially like uh, Studio Orange. I think they did B Stars and yep. Hoseki no Kuni yeah. or like yeah. Land of the Lustrous. And yeah. then uh, the Guilty Gear guys, uh, Arxis. Oh, God. Also, I'm obsessed. In- insane, right? So there's like something there, and we just got to like tickle the secrets out of them or something mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can do some tickling. <laughs> oh. <laughs> i'm imagining josh just tickling like um uh the logo every so often yeah <laughs> i was thinking executives but sure whatever. yeah I was thinking that <laughs> yeah this tickle the creator of uh guilty gear i've i've been <laughs> close enough to tickle him before i could do oh. it also i didn't realize how creative or just how talented the creator of guilty gear is he's oh like God. the character designer the i guess Whoa. the lead creative he does all the vocals and the the music he does uh, all of the music yeah, yeah. he does all the music he does yeah. the voice of soul like he does everything for that freaking game it's amazing it's Whoa. like how do you find that much time to be that talented he's Whoa. he's amazing yeah uh um uh, daisuke yes. um yeah i yeah. hope he never he's... finds this <laughs> <laughs> my dive <of> embarrassment <laughs> please don't it's look okay. at me no don't do it, Carrie. <laughs> maybe, maybe we can all find a project to work on again one day. Oh yeah, um, that I would like. It'd be cool. Yeah. Um, what what uh what have you been up to lately, Josh? I know uh a lot of times you play uh um VR chat. Has uh, <laughs> has that has that for you increased in uh in quarantine? And have you seen like an uptick in people on it? um yes and no to both questions um yeah. like uh because i usually only ever get on on the weekends because i don't want to burn myself out too much but like it's definitely been a thing where it's nice and cathartic to like get on and like hang out with friends even though i'm not like actually there um because it's usually like we'll we'll be chilling and you know uh, uh maybe having a few drinks like like in a club world or something like that right. and then we go to like a theater world and we go watch a movie or something like that so i've watched a lot of movies in vr chat it's great Whoa. it's like imax level screen at good resolution and everything uh and then sometimes you can just go to a world and slap each other with giant robot hands because that's what vr chat is but um yeah i mean like it's it's been <laughs> it's been about the same since quarantine started but i still kind of i think i appreciate it a little bit more because mm. of the connectivity that i'm having oh. and um like it's a weird like also like circling back around to another topic it's just like um it's also been a resource for a lot of other things because like there's um a lot of worlds where you can learn to like straight up like graffiti <laughs> like it actually has like like realistic like tagging sort of things in in specific worlds but like you pick up a can you do this and that and the closer you get and the further away you get it changes the texture of like your painting and stuff like that oh, that's uh, so and cool. then there's also other worlds and this is actually something that you can apply in vr chat super super well because there's a lot of people who run around who are mute and or deaf there's worlds dedicated to learning sign language Whoa. in vr chat <gasps> it's one of them yeah it's one of the best things i've seen coming out of the game so far and like i've actually spent like a couple hours in that game and i think i can do like some very basic stuff oh i can't i probably like my brain just like slipped all that stuff right now but like if i were to <laughs> yeah. be put in a situation where i had to talk to somebody i could be like hello how are you doing blah blah, blah. like i'm doing hands things right now i'm not doing anything accurate but uh in game yeah. i probably would be able to do it but yeah um it's good shit. yeah what, uh, would recommend wow. what headset do you have 
I have two. I have an Oculus that I really like because it does not break, and then I have an Index that I like when it doesn't break. Uh. <laughs> oh no! Mm, technology. Yes, I, wa- I wanted the Index to be to be good. It still it doesn't uh it doesn't work with like the wireless attachment still, right? No, um, I think the people are still figuring that out. Uh, I think okay. the only one that has wireless is the Vive. Yeah, I've got I've got that, and I, I like I bought that, and like years later, I bought the the wireless attachment, and I was like ready to like because it's like I like supporting, you know, this like newer technology. So I was like, cool, Index is coming out. I still like Valve. Like, let's buy the Index. Oh, it can't do the wireless. Okay, I'll wait. I'll wait because <laughs> yeah. it's like once 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 you go once you go wireless, you just can't go back. It's true. It's it true. Back. It's, it's true also, for a lot of things. It's also yeah, really here. annoying whenever yeah. like you're like I'll be like chilling back here like like just like what's up? I want my <laughs> headset. How's it going? And like my <laughs> my cable will just get eaten by my like wheels. Yeah. And I've had to replace <laughs> my my index cable already because oh, of no. that. Oh, and oh, uh, no. that I mean it was under warranty, but it took like eight million years to get to me. What you need to do is like you need to get like um. Okay, what I'm gonna describe, it's basically a sex harness. Okay, so you're gonna, <laughs> you, you, you get into the, the support beam and then you're gonna lower a, t- a tarp with at least four points of, uh, of connection. Um, and you know, you will, your bottom will be exposed, but no one's there, it's fine. That's okay. I'm having a really hard time visualizing this. I can send you some pictures later, don't worry. <laughs> I'll just I'll, I'll like I'll I'll hop in mine later and I'll send you, I'll send you a photo. Uh, it'll be tasteful. But that's the best way to play because you can like you're like skydiving, but like all the Full time. Immersion. I do like the idea of you freaking out other people. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just like how the fuck are you doing that? Yeah. <laughs> Just like start levitating. Just like, Whoa. Whoa. Oh, you, He's you, Neo. Oh, you do like a, like a seance. Yeah, yeah, I'm being lifted by the spirits. It's like that one fucking the TikTok song that gets used for uh, Elon Musk kid all the time. The <laughs> Daddy me. I don't know what it is. I love it. That's that's my hobby. That's my hobby TikTok, lately is being on yes. TikTok. That is what you used to quell the darkness. Yeah, that's what I used to call it. I go out, I have a hammock in my backyard. I wait until it cools down a little bit. I get a, a mint julep. Um, <laughs> good drink. Or, good or drink. Soylent, depending or on what time of day it is. Much uh, stark I, change. Yeah, yeah. We You can add the mint to the Soylent, and it makes like a, mil- a mint chocolate uh, concoction. Whoa. Uh, and then I just watch TikToks on my hammock. And uh, it's, you know, I do that for five minutes a day. It's great. <laughs> Carrie's hobby. That's Carrie's how. Like, are you gonna make some TikToks? Have you made Ooh. any yet? I made one TikTok, <gasps> uh, and it got like I'm 15 views, and it, it basically didn't go viral. So I said, uh, "Fuck this." <laughs> oh, is that not on there anymore? <laughs> no, it's still there. It's okay, still yeah. there. You have I'll, to link uh, us your TikTok. We can. I, it's the can. same as my Twitter. It's just my name. Oh, okay. I'm very excited. Um, I mean, if you want like a good curated experience, you can look through my likes and. Uh, it's true. I've been meaning to a, do that because you send us a lot of TikToks. That's yeah, it's all I do. Now. <laughs> Scott, uh, Scott Morgan, one of our producers, like he he was like, I don't know about this TikTok thing, so I would just like I sent him my profile. I was like, just look at the stuff I favorite. And he was like, oh, okay, this is good. He's like, it was like a curated experience. <laughs> yeah. TikTok <laughs> museum, think- if you will. TikTok is special because like uh, it's like it's, it's really special, sh- right? short yeah, yeah it's special but like I like the idea of like short format things because the thing is they need to like hit for them to be good yeah. and the thing is because you can find so many good ones you just ingest them all like like how many TikToks do you think you would like watch in like an hour Carrie? oh my god I mean <laughs> they they can't be more than a minute right and I very rarely will like watch you know like I'll maybe watch it like more than once I mean like I could I I could probably say easily a hundred in an hour. Jeez. Okay. I mean, if, yeah. you, if you're just like going, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. And some of them are like you know like five seconds long. I don't. Yeah, I mean like maybe between like yeah sixty and a hundred. Um, it's just, it's one it's like I don't know and you know there's the whole like, it, I think it might be owned by China. Is it scanning my <laughs> face? And I'm kind of like I don't care at this point. Like everything has my face. Uh, which is not like a good way to think about it, but that's where I'm at as a person. 
um, <laughs> but uh, I don't know. It's it's a uh, it's it feels unique still to like Twitter. I feel like Twitter, and Instagram are like very similar. Mm-hmm. Um, and TikTok is at least like a little different. Um, if you like memes, it's just, I feel like the, one of the better formats work. Cause it's like, if, if you're on TikTok, like if you get on TikTok for like the first week, like maybe a quarter of the things make sense. And then you start to realize like, oh, that person is ripping off that thing in like a funny way. Oh, and that person's referencing this thing. And it's just like, you realize there's this like power. Oh, TikTok lore. Oh, yeah. <laughs> TikTok there's some, cinematic there's some universe. Yeah. Deep oh, no. fucking lore. Connect the dots. <laughs> yeah. Yes. <laughs> I need a link, y'all. I found this guy that looks just like Cole and it freaks me out. Oh. Yes, he did. Oh my did I that? Okay, yeah. It's like, it looks like Cole's like younger brother or something. Like, yes, I remember. I'll fucking, I'll link it somewhere. Um, <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I think um, you showed me a picture of a video. Yeah. And I was just like, no, this is scary. <laughs> it, oh, my God. It, it, it kind of like, talks like him, too. I, I know, because it was like Cole, but without the lovable nerd part of him. So it was just like a white man. I was like, oh, oh no. Yeah. <laughs> Nightmare's Nightmare. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, pretty much. Let's be honest. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no, Cole. <laughs> No, the Cole's white people boy. part, not Cole. Cole's yeah. oh. good. a good boy. That's right. Yeah, Cole's You're a right, good boy. Guys. Good Best boy. Um, Best boy. So I mean, you know, we're recording this on like Monday, and it's not going to come out till Thursday or Friday. But uh, how about that PS Five, y'all? Mm. I'm sure everyone in the world's going to talk about it until then. But um, did you guys watch it live? <laughs> I <laughs> I watched it. <laughs> we were having a meeting. Oh no! And I just had it on in the background, and every once in a while, I'd be like, "Every shut up." And I was like, I was like it up. and then like, it because that's like I that was like okay, I'm gonna uh-huh. say something real quick, and then I went, and then we should actually get everybody's opinions on it. That <laughs> that the PS5 announcement video thing was like one of the first times that I had, or it was one of the, the biggest times I had this like miss of the office, like this longing. Oh because yeah, because it's like that. That's the kind of thing that would happen, like the the Nintendo Directs, that kind of stuff. Yes, the office would fucking halt for an oh, hour. Oh yeah. Yeah, would, and it would be the, like in the art game, we would bring in a TV just yeah. to watch E3 for the whole yeah. week. Yeah, that was yeah. A, it was oh. like this like experience, and yeah. like instead it was like I was like I had it on in the background while we we're doing review, and every five minutes I just hear Alex go like, "Oh shit!" <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know. Yeah, I'm, Josh, I'm do you everybody. have a story? I was gonna say, like, Carrie, do you remember? I think it was like RVB like twelve or something like that, where E three happened. Kojima came up. He was like, Metal Gear Solid Five. Also, check out this thing called PT, and he just left the stage. Oh my and god! And then you downloaded PT to your PlayStation at the office that night, and it halted everything for like a couple of hours. Do you remember that, <laughs> Josh? I will, I will, I will never forget that. <laughs> That was terrifying. that night was genuinely one of my favorite nights e- ever working at this company. <laughs> because yeah, that we watched that thing. It was like it was like seven or eight p.m. and like I downloaded it, and we started playing, and we we're all fucking babies. <laughs> we kept trading the controller around. We weren't even playing on a big TV. We we're playing on like this like my tiny monitor <laughs> next to TV um like it like next to my computer like it wasn't it wasn't anything but we just we just started playing and like i i seriously i think we played until like two or three in the morning i Uh, think so and then we were all like so scared of going home (laughs) um but like i like it was just like it just like it like it started i was like me and then like you and like miles came over and then like moth it's just like we all we just like started just like this is like i guess this is all we're doing tonight huh it's so funny yeah i remember also like um like everybody got the jitters from like 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 everybody was super sketchy after that and like i remember uh some people didn't want to go out to the bathroom because that's whenever do you remember (laughs) they exploded like the bathroom over there like they completely demolished it and we had like this like uh this hyper advanced porta potty thing. I think we call it the honey wagon. Or it's something called like a that. honey wagon, which is the <laughs> worst <hate> term. It. <laughs> which so is the bad. worst term for portable bathroom. It's like an industry standard thing. I fucking hate it. Oh, I thought that was just a nickname y'all gave it. I didn't no, think that was that's actually like, oh, the name. That's horrible. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, Thanks, it was like. It. 
in the back corner of the lot and like in order to get there you had to either go through the back door and it's just like already dark with like one dim light out there or you went through the other door and you had to go through like this weird like alley thing and it was like super dark and i remember uh like what uh i think it was dustin went out of the back door but then like the the, the door shut (gasps) and like nobody heard it and like or but like he goes to the bathroom and then like 30 seconds later we just hear (laughs) on the fucking (laughs) other door and he's just like trying to get in he's fucking terrified i just i remember too like like we like we we took a break from playing and like there's a couple people outside like smoking or just hanging out i think it was dustin or it it, like it was i can't remember who it was but like somewhere out there and they went to go to the bathroom and they just like looked at everybody out there it's like hey don't fuck with me and then went into the bathroom (laughs) it was like i don't know yeah that was like that is like a cherished a cherished 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 moment for me um Hey, uh, I have uh, I have news through uh, through through Discord right now. I think they found my one TikTok. <laughs> is that something? That, is that it? something we can play? It's really yes. dumb. Uh, oh, there it is. Yo, oh, there's a get... lion oh, in there. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> Yo, is, there's a lion. I don't it's possible to hear with audio. It's oh. dumb. Uh, but I found like a cat filter. Basically, I just said like, "Oh, look, there's a lion," and then he attacked me, and I made like an old man. Like, oh, it was very genuine. It scared the shit out of me when he, when he came after me. Oh, okay, that was great. Perfectly little, cut screams. Keep, keep boy Ash. Yeah. You nice. Can... And now he's the... a big, big boy. Now he's a big, big boy. boy. On the topic so of scary things from Stage Five, that that remind me of a quick story. So, uh, yes. Please. But... <laughs> Back when we were still in stage five, I think one night I was leaving late. It was around December, around Christmas time. So our neighbor, Soundcheck, uh, had a giant nutcracker, like, in their doorway. Oh. <laughs> and so, like, one night I was leaving late. It was, like, dark out. Uh, like, all the lights in Soundcheck are off except for, like, the entry light. So I just see, like, the silhouette of the nutcracker, and I, like, look up from the wheel. Oh, my God. Like, oh. <laughs> It was the oh. worst. I was like, oh. who the fuck put that there? I, and why? I probably would have, like, I'm just being honest, I probably would have pooped a little. Like, I'm not even going to be <laughs> weird or gross. Like, I honestly probably would have. Like, like there's, like, parking lot, like, being a little, uh, Also, the uh. Sandra Bullock cut out. Sometimes I'll see her out the corner of my eye, and she freaks me out. Which one? <laughs> yeah, Sandra the Sandra Bullock. Bullock uh, oh yeah up on the wall oh, yeah <laughs> oh, we used to do that with uh, we we had that gus cut out for like the longest time <laughs> yes i think and that shit out of me yeah that used to like that was just like how do we fuck with people the most my favorite one oh, was no. like uh we had a uh, the bathroom one of the bathrooms at uh 636 we like put it in the bathroom and we like it had like ceiling tiles so we like hung it upside down in the ceiling tile oh my god it's like when you open the door you're you're presented with upside down gus just like looking at you in the face that's his um vr chat harness what was that that's his vr chat harness yeah basically yeah yeah there you go the, the, yeah and he's ready to go he's ready. i want to know i hate it I want to take my headset now and just like put a Gus mask on it so that like when I'm playing VR, like I just like I look like Gus. <laughs> I could probably just do that. Eyes. <gasps> yeah, that's I right. can do that. The you index can. has like a face plate you can take off. I'm just gonna like. Does it really? Look, oh. I mean, it, it does. You just like, I'm gonna put somebody's like face in there and just <laughs> right there, make it look weird. <laughs> ha- have design. y'all seen the the people who like uh, who've printed out face masks that like have their face on it? It has like their the lower half oh, of the face mean, like, that they're the... covering no, on it. No, I have not seen that. But that sounds yeah. awful. <laughs> it's really funny because it looks like it looks like they cut a slit in it, and yeah. it looks like they like ruin their mask, and then like they start talking, and they're like their their lips are moving, but they're not. It's really it's fucking funny. Uh, like, it's just thing... them with like a smile. Oh no! The closest I think I've seen is like on Instagram. These cursed beauty gurus will like put the mask on and then do their makeup. And put them oh, on top, top of the mask. And it, it's so what? cursed looking. Like, I know it's a what? joke. Why? I don't know. But it haunts me. That's my sleep paralysis demon. I, <laughs> I feel like, and th- this is a person that doesn't have to, you know, society doesn't make them feel like they have to put on makeup every day. Uh, I feel like I would use the mask as like, fuck it, not putting anything mm. in this area. That's been me. 
That's been me. I've yeah. been loving that. Because I'm very, like, self-conscious about my face, and I normally always wear makeup, like today. But uh -huh. lately, whenever I go out grocery shopping, I'm just like, fuck it. Don't have to worry yeah. about it. Nobody will know. Exactly. It's so good. The one, the one blessing. <laughs> oh, of masks. <laughs> yeah. I don't mind. I'm, my, my collection's growing. I need to, I need to find some Mask more stylized collection. masks now. Yeah. Oh man, I lost mine. It sucks. I only have like two more medical grade masks that I had like from like two or three years ago that uh, of course is uh, coming really in handy. <laughs> but now yeah. I'm just like, I'm running out. Oh God. <laughs> you know, I got lucky in like, because uh, my dad used to work uh, in like, not construction, but he like, he worked in like facilities at a hospital. So he's always like very big on like safety equipment and stuff. So when, when I got my house, we went into my uh, attic to like run Ethernet cable because I'm a fucking nerd and I'm, you know, I do stuff like that. And uh, so he like brought me like a bunch of like really good masks. This was like three years ago uh, to, to so that when we went up there, we wouldn't be breathing in the asbestos or whatever's up there. <laughs> um, and like I only used one. So now I'm just like in my garage like, aha. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be twenty dollars if anybody's interested. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> and Coast. that's how I made a fortune. Like, I, <laughs> I made twenty dollars. Um, <laughs> I uh, one thing I thought was really interesting about the this is like going back a like eight fucking yeah. things uh, about the PS Five was the fact that they're they're gonna have the digital only version that doesn't yes. have yeah a disc that's drive. really interesting. Like I understand it, but. I hope they still have the option for those who don't have maybe internet and like live out in the middle of fucking nowhere, you know? We'll see. I I feel like I'm going to do a burpee. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> it's going to have to be significantly cheaper oh, yeah. for me to like lose the ability to watch like a Blu-ray movie, you know, like, oh, that's I don't know. Point. Like, I like what is a, a Blu-ray drive costs like. 50 bucks it probably cost them like 10 or 20. Mm -hmm. oh no no just ignore that keep talking new, new cap <laughs> uh, <laughs> so it's like what yeah it's like if, if they only reduce the price by like 20 bucks it's like is that really worth it it looks yeah. way better without the disk drive if i'm being yeah. honest mm -hmm. but i don't know mm, well that's josh, a good point josh you're 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 an elite gamer <laughs> and you like you like PC a lot. How do you how do you feel about PS5? <laughs> oh, you know, I'm I, I the PS5 looks all right. You know, no big deal about that. Um, I, I think it's I think it's neat. I think the the reveal, um, there's a lot of technologies and stuff like that that they're showing, especially like Unreal Engine Five. I believe was sh one of the showcases they had, Ooh. or it, it was a showcase from epic but like not part of the event but yeah. um it's it's kind of showing like the paradigm of like how technology for rendering and stuff like that is going to be headed especially for like real time for gaming and stuff like that because like everybody's like trying to do like their ray tracing or or rtx their, yeah their rtx or like their uh like uh, uh texture uh texture streaming and stuff like that and people are getting way way better at it and like even though like i'm probably like i said i'm, I'm super hardcore pc gamer as a that pc that pc that pc that oh pc but there's a pc over there um he's actually like he's there's a, there's a pc on the chair and there's one inside of him <laughs> I was about to say. actually this is just my vr chat but <laughs> i'm in the other room on my headset <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually on a PS6 right now. Oh, um, <laughs> but um yeah, like uh like I said, like I'm I'm super into the PCs, but I'm still happy to see the progression of like the mainstream consumer technologies that are going into games because eventually like everybody's going to get that and I can only hope that like games going forward are going to look much much better and like higher fidelity because it's, yeah. it's weird because like gaming has gone like either super super high fidelity or kind of like almost a cartoonish style like mm -hmm. uh like oh, valorant yeah. like mm -hmm. if you look at valorant um riot's new shooter it's very flat shaded cartoony stuff like that and like um i kind of sort of realized this one for like gaming budget purposes for example if you have a potato you can just run it then like that yeah. makes sense but then two um it's less hard on bit rate when streaming yeah, I was about to mm. say, so, you need all the frames oh. you can get. It's very, very easy to stream that game. It's it's, in, it's incredible. Interesting. Um, 
but uh yeah like ps5 uh i'm interested to see how it goes even though it looks like sells hat before it got a paint job you know <laughs> <laughs> like it does, it's my, it does. Favorite, <laughs> my favorite meme is the ps5 as, as the pope's hat i think that's what yes. as a, as a i just Catholic love how race. quickly there's like that one person like just like taped two pieces of paper to their router and it's like <laughs> how fucking quickly that got that's around. it yeah or like yeah. somebody with their like their with their like uh tower fan that is like yeah. i'm on the ps11 <laughs> i don't know what you guys are talking about i uh it's it's funny when, when, you, when we were joking about like you know josh like you're in unreal right now like th- did you did y'all see that it's thing that was joke, going around real. where it it, it kind of looked like some of the presenters weren't real yes what? yeah did y'all, no like like we were like alex alex and i kind of noticed this and like i saw at first we thought it was just us and then i saw like jen tweet about it and like other people like tweet about it it's like everybody i think it's because everybody had their own like lighting setup and like it was very specific like some of the people like we were just like watching and like is that a 3d render of a person (laughs) and i was like like for half that presentation i was just like at the end of this gonna be like and all of this was mo-capped and rendered with our proprietary software none of these people are real like i was waiting for them to do that Shot um, in engine. They yeah, exactly. <laughs> there he is. Oh, there he is. Yes. Sorry, <laughs> Look at fucking oh, Xbox behind him. <laughs> Thank you, broadcast, for getting that so quickly. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Right. This oh my. Very good. Um. Hey, Issa. We had a we had a pretty cool thing happen this week, didn't we? Yes. So Do you know sometimes. What I'm talking about? You know, what I think about. so. People are cool yeah they are yeah they are (laughs) there's some cool people out here (laughs) and they they make some cool stuff and sometimes the cool stuff features us whoa whoa for the first time that i'm aware of i think so yeah we got some fan art yeah Yeah, we got fan art fan art fan art fan art look at us we're (laughs) furry finally josh (laughs) now that you're here Josh, now that you're here, you have to uh, tell oh, us. Oh yeah, what your, what's your uh, persona? Is. What animal are you? What persona am I? Yeah. It's okay. You can uh, think. Oh yeah, come back to me. I gotta okay. think about that. Okay. I gotta go, do some go soul back searching. To have to marvel at it more. Yeah, there's uh, some more. Oh, I think this was my favorite. <laughs> Harry looks like he's saying Kenny. Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I wish I could just wear it all the time. Uh, so this cool. is I also it. like how Jordan's eating in every single one. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's, he's, he's supposed to know. He's a hundred percent eat. Oh wait, the hat. here, hang on. Oh, 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 I didn't even oh, notice. Yeah. This one's good too. <laughs> he's eating pizza again. Of course. How will we know it's Jordan? <laughs> he's if he's not eating. Sorry, I had to get my hat. All right, I'm all ready. All right, now. we're ready. Ready. Oh, do we have, do we oh, have the artist's there we name? Go. There oh, there it is. There we go. Official merch coming soon. There we go. Ooh. All right. There we go. Mm-hmm. Nice. Is. Got a PS5 on my head. <laughs> 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 yeah, Excellent. that was um oh, one to one. Oh, oh. it's like a it's just, it's just two carries. Do we have a uh, image? Can we throw up the the artist name? Yeah. Hey. So thank you very thank you very much, Juan. Yay. Thanks, we appreciate it. Awesome. Um, you know, if other people send in fan art, maybe we'll we'll show it because that's really cool of y'all and really nice of y'all. Um, and it means like, a lot to made, us. It made me smile. We know we have <laughs> at least one viewer or listener now. <laughs> so that's <laughs> that's pretty good in my book. I don't know. It makes Beautiful. me happy. Me too. Um, well, Josh, you have to answer the question. Oh, yeah. That's oh, yeah. Right. What's your first We can't wrap up yet. Uh, just say a crow. Just pick your favorite. Okay. Ooh, okay. Ah. That's a good one. Oh. Yeah, I'll, I'll say a crow. Okay. It's furry, scalies, feather. What is it? Beakies. Actually, that's beakies? a bird. I feel like I should know this. I don't think it's beaky. Uh, okay. I've gone to Google, and I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm typing as I'm typing it. Oh, my God. Furries, okay. but... Bird literally okay i typed in furry's butt and hit space and this these are i want to let you know everything that's popped up first one <laughs> for birds second uh, for bugs never thought oh, about okay. that yeah for mm. fish we all know scalies 
Uh, I'm going to skip one. Insects, no, it doesn't matter. For plants, that's a new oh. one that I hadn't thought about. But then we come back to the fourth one. For robots. <laughs> I, I didn't know that was a thing. I've seen this. You have? I don't think they would. Would they be You see a lot of things on your chat. What's well, furries but for robots? Let's see what Reddit said in November of 2019. <laughs> Hold on, let me see. We're learning so much I'm, today. Staff suggesting Staff Mechies. Said Mechies. <laughs> Mechies. That's actually adorable. There's also plain sonas. Oh yeah, that's oh, right. That sounds very, very cursed. Thing. That it's the it, 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 people love having a lot of people inside them. Oh no. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, Josh, no. <laughs> okay, so I think uh, so. They're they're known as uh, avians or oh, featheries. Oh, okay. I prefer avians. That sounds. I prefer, avians. but feathery sounds cute. Mm. Uh, yeah, it's fair. It doesn't. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> well, with that, now that I've ruined my Google search history um, <laughs> for everything else, uh, I think that about wraps it up for this episode. Um, Josh, thanks so much for joining us, man. Yeah, it's, it's uh, really fun. It's good to talk. Enjoyed to my you. time. Likewise, dude. I miss y'all. Oh. We Come back again, so. Josh. Please. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, you know, like like normal. Please, if you could uh, like, comment, share, all that good stuff, we appreciate it. Um, and yeah, have a good week, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.